Okay, so now we know what the course is about, what the philosophy of the course is, and so forth. Our goal now is to look at the mechanics of the class. As you know, the class is going to be taught online this term, and uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you can't meet with me. I do have an office on campus. It's uh, in the Natural Sciences Building in 113. Now, currently, we're still experiencing the COVID-19 epidemic, and so I'm not going to be on campus before July, I don't think. Uh, it's not clear to me exactly when they're going to open campus, uh, but uh, if I am on campus at any time, you're certainly welcome to visit me in my office. But chances are you're going to have to contact me remotely, and the way to do that is going to be either with my phone or either one of my SEC or ASU email accounts. Of these possible ways of contacting me, this is the best, using my SEC account. That's the one that's essentially guaranteed to get me uh, uh, to respond. But also, in addition, you can use the Canvas website to contact me through it. It's probably the easiest way to go, and it will go right to this particular um, email. So that's fine if you want to do that. Now, office hours, I will establish times when I'm available uh, in uh, person so that you can either uh, do FaceTime or do some sort of face-to-face um, -face sort of meeting or do a meeting uh, just simply with a chat, essentially by email. But for right now, we're going to do everything via email. So we'll set those times up and I can announce those on the discussions pages uh, on Canvas. But for right now, as I said, uh, you can contact me directly, either direct email using this email or again through Canvas. I will respond within 24 hours during business days, Monday through Friday. Now on the weekends, I'm often working doing other things and so I may not respond on the weekend. So if you need to contact me during the weekend, you might not get a response until Monday. But otherwise, I will respond within 24 hours. Now, other resources that you're going to need include a textbook. So you're going to want to try to find this textbook, the Freeman et al. It's a 2017 sixth edition. You can get it online, and it's over $200, and I would not do that. I would go ahead and get it used online somewhere uh, where you can probably get it for as low as $60, or even I saw it for about $40. So that's probably the way to go. Uh, you do not need the 7th edition, but if you do get the 7th edition, that would be fine. If you have the 5th edition, that's also fine. There are a couple of other possible textbooks that you can use. Um, and so, for example, if you can find one by Campbell, that would be also okay. But be very careful to make sure that it's the big Campbell, the most uh, uh, complete Campbell. There are a number of other versions which are much cheaper, but they do not have the level that we are going to be working at. So just make sure you've got a solid book. If you're not sure, go ahead and send me an email and I'll, I can at least give you a sense of whether or not you've got the right, uh, the right text. But in the syllabus, you'll notice there are a number of reading assignments. And those reading assignments are going to be coming out of this textbook partially. So do make sure that if you can't figure out if you, a way to get this exact textbook, that you are able to connect some way uh, of what the reading assignment for this book would be uh, corresponding to the book that you actually have. If you're not sure, again, send me an email and I'll try to set you straight. I know most of the other textbooks that are out there. Another thing you're going to definitely need is a scientific calculator. The calculator must be able to do two things. It must be able to do logarithms and it must be able to take exponents. So those are two of the key things. Now, if you want to get one of the TI-83 uh, series or the TI-80 series, that's perfectly fine. There's absolutely no reason why you can't do that. Uh, the, that's perfectly allowed in this class. Uh, you don't necessarily have to spend that kind of money. That uh, particular model is over $100, slightly over $100. You can get a perfectly good one scientific calculator for $12, a Casio uh, scientific calculator. You can get that on, online at Amazon or uh, in other uh, sorts of, of uh, locations. It's no problem at all. Now, the website is one that you've probably already found since you're already looking at this uh, lecture. Uh, but this is the website if you don't have it. And um, you do want to make sure that um, when you type this in, you type it in exactly as it is. We've had some difficulty with that before. You're probably better off to get a link from the Canvas page and just do it straight from there. But those are the main sorts of resources that you have. We also have a tutor center. And the tutor center is also online. Uh, the information for the tutor center is on the Canvas web page. So that will lead you to the exact uh, uh, links that you need to get to the tutoring. And we have excellent tutors for Bio 181.
So do avail yourself of that if you can. And if you want to work together with somebody remotely or however you want to do it, you're perfectly welcome to do that. However, realize the exams are meant to be taken by yourself and uh, the uh, final exam, of course, must be taken by yourself. And I will be using uh, lockdown software uh, that uh, will essentially require you to be alone when you take the exam. We'll talk more about that when the first exam comes up. Let's talk a little bit about the exams and the quizzes and things that you're going to be uh, using to accumulate points. Now, as you know, you're in a learning module, and there's a total of 27 learning modules in this course. Now, each learning module is approximately the equivalent of a regular one-hour lecture. Now, in the summertime, in the accelerated course, there's going to be two of those learning modules essentially per day. Uh, so, again, you're looking at five or so learning modules per, per week, five to six learning modules per, per week. So overall, you've got 27 learning modules, and each one has its own quiz. So that means you've got 27 quizzes you're going to be having to take. And essentially, be prepared. You're going to be taking one every other day. And every other day from that, you've got a laboratory that's going to be due. In the summertime accelerated class, you're going to be working a lot and making, making a lot of stuff uh, uh, that you've got to hand in. So each quiz is 10 points. You get to drop one, and so in total, then you're going to end up with 260 points. The dates are, are listed for you on the syllabus, and I'll show you that in shortly. And the format is always going to be multiple choice, and it's only over a given module, one learning module. So for example, this learning module, which includes three videos and all of the reading that is on that learning module list, is going to be fair game for that quiz. All quizzes will be given online through Canvas and no late quizzes will be accepted. The due dates are posted on the syllabus, and those due dates are final. So what's going to happen is, as soon as that due date comes, uh, midnight of that date, the quiz is going to disappear, and you won't be able to get to it again. So do make sure you plan your time. Do make sure that you get that quiz done before it comes uh, time for you to, to uh, have it completed. Otherwise, you won't have an opportunity to get it. They're really meant to help you study. What the quizzes are really meant to do is to help you prepare for the, for the exams. So you're going to get three opportunities to take the, the, the quiz. Every single quiz gives you three shots at it. Here's how you approach the quizzes. The most successful students in the past have done it like this. Do the complete learning module first. Do all the readings. Re watch all the videos. Then, after that, there's a study guide. And every learning module except this one has a study guide with a bunch of questions. Answer every single one of those questions. You're not going to hand those questions in, but go through them and answer them formally as if you were going to hand them in. Then when you've done that, take the quiz. The students who struggle the most, who usually don't do well on the quiz even on their third attempt, and take a lot longer to do the quiz, are students who start the quiz first and then use the quiz to try to find material in the, in the learning materials. Now I know that there are many online classes where that is the successful technique. That's not going to work here. You've got to learn the material because this is a professional level course. You've got to learn it. That's our goal. The whole point of this class is to learn, not to jump through. So learn it first, then take the quiz. It goes much, much easier if you do that. So that's going to be one of the main ways in which you earn points. In fact, the main way. There's nothing else that's going to give more points than that. You're also, in addition to quizzes, going to be taking two exams. And these two exams are each worth 100 points. Again, uh, the dates are in the syllables. There are multiple choice problems and short answer, and you only get one shot at it. So in this case, you take the, take the exam. It's a formal sort of thing. We'll have a lockdown software uh, that will, again, require you to be alone and require you not to have any other web pages up on your computer. And when you take the exam, again, you get one shot to answer the questions, and then those questions then get uploaded. Uh, and that's it. You don't get to see them again, and you don't get to see your answers. So there are no makeup exams. So if you, if you anticipate for some reason having difficulty making the deadline, contact me. But it's got to be some good reason. You've got plenty of time to take the exams. There's a deadline for the exam, but you can take it before that deadline. As soon as I post it, from the time that I post it to the time that the deadline ends, which is always midnight on a day, that it would be any time when you could take the exam. Okay, so you have plenty of opportunity. Please plan accordingly and make sure you've got that. T missing an exam is really, really dangerous. If you s uh, fail to submit an exam by the deadline, remember there's no makeup exams, there's no fair way to do it, you're guaranteed to get zero points for that exam. So that's unfortunate. Make sure you don't do that. Make sure you get the exams done. 
If a student misses two exams, the only two exams, then they're guaranteed to be withdrawn from the course. And that's the safest thing to do because there's no way to pass the course if you miss two exams. All right? You'll have to abide by the rules. Again, as I said, there will be a lockdown uh, uh, software program going running so that uh, while you take the exam, uh, you'll have a particular uh, limited uh, amount of things that you can do on your computer while you're taking the exam. Okay, so those are the exams. You've got quizzes, exams, and then there's one other exam, and that's the final. The final exam is a requirement. Every single student must take it to, fin to pass the course. It's 200 points. The time is, again, on the very last day. This is going to be July 9th at midnight. It'll be due by midnight. It's a two-hour exam, and it's a timed exam. The other exams are one-hour exams. They're also timed. Uh, the timing is such that as soon as that time is up, once you start the exam, you've got two hours to finish this one, one hour to finish the others. Once it, that uh, time frame is up, the exam shuts down and you won't have access to it again. So this is also important here. Since this exam is going to be due at midnight on July 9th, make sure you start it before 10 o'clock on July 9th. Right now, you can start it before that. I'll have it posted before, and you can start it, but not very much before. It won't be more than a few days before, but you'll have plenty of time to find a way to do it. Okay? If for some reason you missed the final and it's a documented excuse, there's, there's a reason why you missed it that's documented and accepted by the college, then we'll give you a grade of incomplete, and you'll have to com uh, complete the course uh, in the fall semester. And to complete it, you'll have to do all outstanding work and complete the final. If for some reason... Uh, there's an unexpected uh, or an unexcused reason to miss the course, uh, miss the final, pardon me, uh, then the, that student would automatically fail the course or be withdrawn at the instructor's discretion. Okay, So there's only one other way in which you earn points, and that's the laboratory. Now there's a laboratory, and the laboratory is very important here, and the, the laboratory is going to be something we'll talk more about. The early labs, especially, will be things that you can do at home without too much difficulty, mostly pencil paper things. Some of the later ones will require you to go to the grocery store or to a department store or something like Target and buy a few very simple materials, nothing dangerous, nothing expensive, uh, but it will require you to buy certain, some, certain things uh, for you to complete the, uh, the la uh, laboratory. Be prepared. The laboratories are designed to take about three hours in uh, actual execution and then another hour or two in analysis. So be prepared for all of that. The way this basically is organized, quizzes will be on uh, one day, typically uh, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and the uh, uh, laboratories will be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So basically every day you're going to be doing something that, that essentially is submitting. Again, the accelerated pace is pretty onerous. So be prepared. Make sure you get yourself organized and make sure you get the time organized. You can do it, but it requires organization, requires thought ahead of time, and it requires a commitment. But you can do it. There's no reason why you can't do it. So there are 13 laboratories total. There's going to be two or three per week, two in the first week, two in the last week, three in the remaining weeks. And so each one, again, is worth 20 points. So that's uh, we're going to drop uh, the lowest score. Uh, so this is uh, a fairly sizable amount of, of points. This is actually more points than the exams. All right, so this then is our summary. What you've got here are the lecture quizzes, 260 total points. That's 27 minus 10 times 10. And you've got then two lecture exams, which are 100 points each, so there's a total of 200. Final exams, 200, and the laboratory is 240. All of these must be completed in order to get credit for the course. Every single one must be completed to get credit. Okay, So you have to attempt everything, everything that's up there, and you've got to make sure that you get it done by the deadline, because the deadlines are final. Once they come, that's it. These things shut down, and you won't have access to them again. Okay, The total is 900 points. The grading scale is uh, this straight scale. It was set by the students who've taken this class ahead of you. Uh, any percentage between 90 and 100 percent, that's 810 points to 900 points, is a grade of A. 78 to 89 is a B. 68 to 77 is a C. 55 to 67 is a D. And less than 55 is an F. So that is the uh, grading. Those are the grading policies. Those are the grading standards. There will be no extra credit at any time. At the end of the semester, there will be no extra credit assignment. Everything that you have will be posted, and that's it. So make sure that as you're working, you're focused and you're working at your highest possible level. That's your goal. 
on everything we do here, every quiz, every exam, every laboratory. Work at your highest possible level. Show us exactly what you can do. That's your goal. That's the attitude I want you to have when you start the course.